Yo, what's the deal? It's Baby Flacco, the face of LA, king of Cali, king of LA, face of this shit. And I'm doing an interview with K Shotta. Man, so Baby Flacco, like, how'd you get that name, bro? Well, I'm uh, half Hispanic, so like my family, they speak Spanish, they be calling me Flacco, like skinny. Like, when mm -hmm. I was younger, they used to call me like, oh, he's Flacco, he's skinny. So I was like, two and two together, Baby Flacco. You feel me? That's just... and, and how long you been running with that name? Uh, about a year. And and how long would you say you've been really making music for, bro? Uh, I've been making music for like like nine months, eight mm. months actually. For like I haven't really been. I dropped my first song like six, seven months ago. So I and, just started. And you just been like going going hard ever since then. Yeah, I've been going hard because I see the potential. I see like where I could take it for real. like. I see like the structure of LA and like the rap game and I'm like I could I could take this over for real. like I could take it over I already know where did that come from you know what I mean uh, I just I I was born I was born for this like I don't know what it is I just have a feeling in me of like I could really take this over regardless I could take it over so you feel like this just you know entertainment just always been in you you know what I mean like to do something with that entertainment yeah I always felt like the star like in my life, I always felt like a star. Like anything I did, I felt like the star for sure. Like when was the first moment you had that you knew, like, man, I gotta do, I gotta go crazy with this music shit. Um. So okay, I dropped my first single ever, and it was on um, what was that radio station called? Uh, Cyrus XM Radio. Mm -hmm. First single ever, Cyrus XM Radio. I was like, damn, two hundred fifty spins on the radio. I was like. Okay, I could I could for sure do something with this. I got paid off of it and everything. I was like, this is I'm this is this is the path for sure. And like and like how did that come about though, you know what uh, I mean? I got in contact with a couple of people. They know who they are. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help me, put me on. And still working with them. So I mean, how did that feel, you know what I mean? Like your first song, you know what I mean, just being on the radio type shit, you know what I mean? Um I it was a blessing, like I'm like, damn. Okay, but I, got, I seen all the other people on the radio station, like all the other people, I'm like, these people are like mainstream people and I'm just there. So I'm like, yeah, I felt, I felt like, I felt welcome. I'm like, little baby, yee, I'm like, okay, baby and, Flacco. And, and, and how long ago was that, would you say? Um, Like six, seven months ago, for real, because that's when I dropped my first song ever, so. You know, I noticed on your page, bro, you got this, you know, this walk song, you know what I mean? Yeah. Dropping November 11th, you know what I mean? Talk to me about that shit, bro. Walk. Viral, viral song. Viral. When it drops, you, you'll feel it. It's viral. It's viral. It's dance to it. Viral. Walk. You feel me? Do your walk dance. You feel me? You'll, you'll see. You'll see when the time comes. Walk. You'll hear it. You'll hear it. Walk. And like, can, right. can you go through the process of like making that song, you know what I mean? Like, was it just like, you know, turned up in the studio type shit? Like, how was the vibe? For sure, turn. Um, I punched that whole song in like, in less than like, 20 minutes probably, 30 minutes. I was just, I just felt that like walk. I felt it. That's, that's it. I was just feeling it. I was just chilling that day. I was like, this is the one for sure. I got shot that video like that same week. So, yeah, this is the one. Sure. And I mean, you you wrote the song, right? Or you said you punched it in, but no, like, no, I, I off the dome. <clears throat> oh, so that was all off the dome. Off the dome, yeah. I didn't okay. write nothing. I don't really, I don't really like writing anymore. I feel like writing is a little. It's like ten percent of it sounds a little robotic. Maybe it's me, but it sounds a little robotic. I like punching in now. Like you kind of trying to be like like drill or like L.A. type shit, right? Like kind of like vibe type shit. Honestly. I'm I'm at first and that's what I wanted to do, but I'm bigger than that. I'm bigger than like a category. I feel like I feel like I've made some love music. I made hype music like with different beats, not drill beats. I I could I just feel like my energy could be anything. It, maybe I do rock rock and roll. I don't know something yeah, crazy. Yeah. Like <clears throat> I just feel like my energy is bigger than drill, bigger than trap. It's just, Basically, I mean, like you want to show people that you're versatile. You don't want to yeah. show people like, hey, just put me in a box of yeah. this type of genre of music. You know what I mean? For sure. Yeah. What song you got out that may be a little different than say this walk song right here? You know what I mean? Like, mm, honestly, nothing I got out 
for real, I, I have so much music in the vault. Like, oh, I feel yeah. like 50% of my music is dropped. Probably even less, like 40% is dropped, and then the rest is coming soon. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, shit, man, like, <clears throat> around when did you start, like, naming yourself, like, the face of L.A., man? Like, <laughs> um, well, when I first started, I was like, honestly, I'm like, I'm the face of L.A. Because there's no, like, you can't even name somebody who's the actual face of it. Like, who who's the face of L.A.? Recipes Nipsey, <clears throat> Recipes Draco the Ruler. But those were really the faces of L.A. And yeah. sadly, they passed away and... I, we, we're lost low key we have Roddy but Roddy is in his own lane he don't really claim LA anymore <coughs> he's mainstream you feel me so. um yeah right now I feel like there's not really somebody that uh is uh taking that torch you know what I mean yeah. so what you claiming like face of LA man like you know you know what I mean that's a big title you know what I mean yeah so so how do you plan on just like taking over man Planning on taking over. I just want to bring everybody together. Okay. I feel like there's too much division between the artists in LA. Yeah. Like if everyone worked together, put the differences aside, we would all go up together. Like there's enough room now. Rest in peace to everyone, all the mainstream artists who died, but mm -hmm. there's room at the top now. Like people paved the way for us, and we just needed to just take over. Like work together, take over. You know, that's my first step. Working with all these artists, taking over. Um. Changing the sound a little bit, because I feel like our sound isn't mainstream enough. I feel like mm -hmm. our sound is repetitive, <clears throat> it's old school, you feel me? Um, just change the sound up. Uh, what are some artists that you've worked with so far from like LA and shit like that? Um, it's Honestly, I just started making music. I haven't right, right. been able to work with who I want to work with. I've been trying to build my my um myself up do all my singles by myself i'm now at this at this moment doing features like right now like i just started doing features uh nico the mac we got a whole album coming together like a dual album coming um i got a whole bunch of people i have a whole list of people i want to work with and you know who you are because i hit you up so <laughs> you already know i got a whole bunch of people i want to work with so um is it like predominantly like la people you really trying to uh work with right now to kind of like build build your sound with with la or are you you trying to work with like somebody from the ie orange county um oh, oh, i yeah for sure yeah I, I i know some ie artists um fat boy you already know that's the homie um we, we're gonna make some we're gonna make some magic happen for sure um cali i feel like west coast in general like cali cali as a as a mm -hmm. whole we, could, we should work together, not just L.A., like Cali. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, there's a lot of motherfuckers out there, you know, really doing their thing, you know. The last person that I could remember in L.A., other than, like, Nipsey, was, like, the game back in, like, the mid, like, yeah. you know what I mean? He really, like, like probably, like, 2005 or whatever it was, maybe even earlier, like. He definitely put on. Yeah. He, he really brought that back, you know, from, like, say, N.W.A. and back then, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, so you trying to do some shit like that, huh? For sure, yeah. Like, come on. We could do better. We, LA is like number, top three most popular cities in America. Yeah. For sure. <clears throat> and we have what rap game, for real. Like, nothing. Now, do you think, like, I'm not saying just LA, I'm saying just, like, for all these cities around in general. Yeah. Do you feel like a lot of people now, they, they follow more of the trend instead of, Back in the day, like, if you was from L.A., you was making music from L.A. If you was from New York, your sound was from New York, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, now it's like everybody kind of, like, makes the same sound, I feel, you know what I mean? Um, okay, I feel like that's true. The South, I feel like the South okay. sounds a lot similar. A okay. Lot the South, but I feel like East, East, the East Coast and the West Coast are, like, completely different. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, I think. But we, we have, like, similarities to, like, Detroit. Like, we, we can get along with, like, Detroit music type. When when did you really, like, put this Bando song together? You know what I mean? Like... Uh, Bando. Shout out to Nico the Mac. Um, that song, Loki, we were just messing with some beats. And Nico the Mac was like, oh, 
feel me? Um, use this beat. And I was like, all right, let's do it. And it's nothing too like it's. It's not as complicated as you, it may seem. Like we just choose a beat and just flow on it. That was another like off the dome punching. He started. Wait, no, I started the song off, and then we just wrote off each other's energy and just made the song. That song is hard. That oh, that video coming soon too. Bando, and oh. the whole album's coming soon with Nico. Shout out Nico. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, so when do you plan on dropping these shits, bro? So I took a little break, like a month break. Not a break, but I've been just making content grinding for like a whole month yeah yeah and i think for the rest of this year i'm gonna try to drop a single every week or every two weeks mm -hmm. and maybe a video two three videos for yeah, sure yeah and the album comes soon what part of la was is that bro honestly i grew up all over la i grew up in south central la i moved from south central place south central west la uh i think at one point I live like Long Beach, uh, then back to LA. I always like, we used to like, I don't know, get kicked out of places and have to go back to my grandma's. And yeah, yeah, move around. Move you know around. What I mean? It was just me and my mom, so yeah. So, like, talk a little bit about your upbringing, man. When you're like, a kid, like, all you need really is some toys and mm -hmm. some friends and you don't want to even notice mm -hmm. that life is struggle but now that i'm older I, i'm like oh yeah my mom she would like cry every night cry every night i wouldn't really know why she would be crying every night crying all the time but i just knew like oh damn my mom's crying i'm playing video games or i'm outside i'm just enjoying life playing football and mm -hmm. stuff like oh i couldn't afford she couldn't afford to play football like um pay for me to play football. Mm -hmm. Now now I'm older, I'm like, damn, that's crazy. Because I didn't really think about it at the time. I, didn't, I, I can't say I struggled because I had a good childhood. Yeah, yeah. But looking back at it, we did struggle, if that makes sense. I want to take my whole family out. First, as soon as my family's straight, they don't ever have to worry about nothing ever again. Then I'm on to other things. That's my first goal. Like, make sure all my family's straight and nobody's struggling. If you ask, I'm gonna be able to offer whatever I got you. Oh yeah. You feel me? Make sure my mom's, grandma straight, everybody straight. Cause I see, I see the vision. If nobody else sees the vision, I see the vision for myself. If nobody believes in me, I believe in myself, and I know I could get everybody up in this situation. Yeah, that's the most important thing of all this shit, bro. Cause you could, you could know how to write if you don't have the vision for it then yeah. you ain't gonna live through it you know what i mean that's why some motherfuckers that can write they ghostwriters because yeah. they they can't deliver it but for they sure. can write it you know what i mean so everybody got a different vision out here you know what i mean yeah so i mean it's important to know know your position with yourself you know what i mean fuck fuck what anybody else got to think you know what i mean and i think that's the most important thing to grow out here you know what i mean like knowing what you're doing and knowing why you're doing it you mm. know what i mean so shit, like, so what, you just trying to keep on pushing out these singles, or you mentioned, like, kind of, you trying to put together a tape? Uh, yeah, me and Nico the Mac, we got a uh, album called Face of This Shit. So, oh, okay, and he's yeah. from L.A. too, right? Yeah, he's from L.A., that's my dog. Um, so he's from the same area as you, then? Nah, we didn't grow up together, we met each other recently, actually, but we got close, because we got, we matched the same, we got the same energy, matched the same vibe. Stuff like that. Spending time. He's actually he's my he was my engineer. Mm -hmm. Uh, he's an artist engineer. You do it all. So tapping with him, engineering. You feel me? But that's my dog, and we just got the same energy. We could do it all, anything. So I'm making this tape, we're gonna turn up the whole city. So you feel like that really helps you guys make them them bangers together? You know what I mean? Yeah, we got bangers, bangers, like bangers, bangers. Like. All right. So do you feel like <clears throat> working on singles is like a better format for you? Um, I don't really do it like that. I just I just make music for real. Like I don't really think about it as an album or single. Okay. If I think the single is good enough and I'm working on a project, I'm gonna put it on there regardless. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cause you just be making music, so like yeah. when you in the studio, like how many songs is you making like each time? Um, if I if I'm chilling in the studio, working on the album, we'll make like two songs. It, de I, it honestly it depends how much hours I book for. If I book 
three hours, I'm gonna make three songs. Like I make, I I can make a song every hour with the mixing and all that in one hour. Like mixing lyrics, everything one hour. Now you said you don't really write anything, you know? I have the beat already picked out, and I'll I'll be in the car going to the studio playing the beat over and over again, and I'll be trying to find my rhythm like da 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 with the beat, and I'll that's exactly how I make the song, and I'll make a catchy hook or some hard verse and just go off that. Mental. Yeah, yeah. So, who, who do you normally uh, get your beats from? A Wangsta. He's a uh, Russian producer. I get my beats from him. Oh, King J Beats. King J Beats. Shout out King J. I get a lot of beats from him, too. Shout out King J. That's my dog. What's this I see on your page? This little mini LA tour. Oh, mini LA tour. Uh, it's something we're planning, this mini LA tour. We're trying to uh, get a whole bunch of people from parties. Get some artists to throw a whole tour, shows, parties, and just build our fan base, turn up, give people a good time, show people some good music, you feel me? Do whatever. Whatever you want to do. Bring some hoes. Do whatever you want to do. Yeah, LA tour coming soon. Well, when, when I say tour, it's because it's like planned shows, like a, a route of shows. Like I, I see what you're saying. Stuff. So like, say like you like growing up, mm -hmm. what were some figures that you was watching, you know what I mean, that you was getting some inspiration off of, you know what I mean? Well, when I was young, I used to listen to the game, like like when I was little, little. I mean, not the game, I'm tripping, 50 Cent, 50 uh -huh. Cent a lot. Like, that was, when I was in, in my mom's stomach, she would listen to 50 Cent. When I came out, 50 Cent, that's, yeah, I fuck with 50 Cent a lot. So 50 Cent, that's who you remember, like, mom's playing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Bumping, you know what I mean? 50. 50 Cent. Um, 50 Cent. And the game, too, but 50 Cent, for sure, number one, like, for sure. Okay, so she really fucked with the yeah. buff-ass motherfucker. And Young Jock. Young Jock. Okay, Young okay. Jock, yeah. It's going down. Yeah. Chain hang low, you feel me? Yeah, for sure. Young <clears throat> Jock. So like, do you remember the the long chain era, you know what I mean, where motherfuckers was wearing like big ass chains, yeah. long as fuck, you know what I mean? Uh, with the big shirts. Man, so like, I noticed bro, like yesterday on your story, man, like you was just like, you said, you said, hey, unless it's an emergency, don't ever wake me up over some celebrity <laughs> news on God. I'm going to see it when I wake up, let me sleep. Yeah. I mean, damn, that was kind of bold, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I had, to, I had to come here. I had to be energized. I knew what time I wanted to wake up. So when I get a phone call waking me up, I got two phone calls waking me up. Uh, uh, uh. Actually, I didn't even answer it. I just declined. But I'm like, what was it for? And um, my homie's little brother, he had texted me. He goes like, take off, die. Uh -huh. I was like, all right. I know. I seen it. I seen it yesterday. I posted it yesterday. So why are you telling me take off that? I already know. Rest in peace, take off. And he's like, but are you crying? I'm like, I don't care. Like, rest in peace. I just don't care. It doesn't so, affect me. So, um, <clears throat> do you think that now that take off isn't in the group, that's going to really affect that whole group? Uh, well, already, Offset's not even in the group. So it's not even a group anymore. Yeah. I, honestly, I don't know, but right, right. Offset's not. It was t it was Quavo and Takeoff. It was the Neo. Right, but you would think that that whole situation would just bring them together. Yeah, like yeah. come on, man. Like yeah, I uh, for sure bring them together. <coughs> Maybe I don't even know. Like I don't even know what the Migos is anymore. I just pray prayers to their families, but I don't know what the Migos is anymore. It's not, it's not a thing. I noticed, man, like you came in here wearing all red, buddy. Like, yeah. Well, is there is there a story behind that, or is that just yeah. your favorite color? It's it it's actually is my favorite color, but uh -huh. it's nothing. I just picked the fit. I do not gang bang. Right. Shout out, shout out all the gang bangers, free all the <laughs> meals. You feel me? It's nothing against the eye. I love everybody. I love everybody. That's that's about it. Politics. Yeah. Keep that away from me. Let's get this money. Yeah. I mean, do you feel like you kind of get caught in the middle of something because now people be like, hey, bro, why are you working with da-da-da-da-da or whatever? You, you never... Know, well, I already had that issue before rapping. Like, just hanging uh -huh. out with... I hang out with everybody. Yeah, hang yeah. out with people from here to here. It's like... Like, I mean, I kind of get it, but it's like, I was always these people's friends. When we grew up, we all grew up together. Right. Y'all were friends back in <clears throat> middle school. 
before all this, and now y'all are not friends. Like you can't expect me to two sides. I don't, I don't work that way. But right. when I talk about like bringing people together, I'm talking about even the people I, who can be brought together who are just not working together. Like yeah. people from the same side who don't work together. You feel me? Yeah, cause nowadays it's like. You know, back in the day, it was more like, oh, we don't fuck with the enemigos or whatever, yeah. whatever the case may be. But now it's like it's people within the same shit that just don't fuck with each other. Right. You know what I mean? It's, it's out of people just want to be the star. Like, <clears throat> it's cool to be the star, but it's also cool to be helping the star because you will all go up together. You feel me? Like, I, like rappers always have the biggest rappers always have teams like those people. They just stay down. They're not the star. Lil Baby is the star. Well, just look at, a, like, Drake, right? Like, yeah. everybody thinks Drake's just making all these hits. Like, he got the whole team behind him. Yeah. And I don't... There was obviously words where he wasn't writing his own music. So, I mean... But I'm sure he does. But maybe there are songs where he don't write because he don't got to write everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, when you have a team and some people, their qualities are you know different than what yours are so yeah. he might be a good you know writer but he can deliver well you know what i mean so how do you feel about six nine man can he come to la you the face of la man can he come to la uh he probably is in la right now and nobody knows so <laughs> he probably I mean, been living in that bitch huh honestly i feel like he like what can he's nobody takes him serious he's not a top op like people try to get up on it's like Oh, you got six nine. Good for you. Like, who cares? I think it's because there's so much like you know, like security and like yeah, cops and all that that people just say, you know what? I don't think it's worth to fuck with. It'd be stupid, you know what I mean? He so would like the president for sure. Yeah, I mean he's definitely the troll. You know, the troll god in that sense because this motherfucker know that that's how he stays relevant though. You know what yeah. I mean? Because his music's not even like that great. Like I can't lie, when he first came <laughs> out. And he was making shit with like he was hard. I'm like, oh, yeah, that shit was pretty hard. He, he was hard. Yeah, that shit was pretty hard. I can't lie to you. I'm not saying I condone it, but music's music at the end of the day, you know. Yeah. Just like Rick Ross, you know what I mean. He 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 was a goddamn CEO, you know what I mean. But people, you know, love his music. Like, I actually seen him on somebody's album recently. He's doing bigger things. He was on Ninja Turtle. He had the Ninja Turtles theme song like on well, one of the movies. You gotta think, bro. Like when the whole goal when you are an artist is to create generational wealth you know what i mean yeah. so like typically like being an artist at some point in time that's just gonna go dry you know what i mean yeah. so if you didn't invest into other things unless you like on some jay-z drake level where you're just gonna keep on getting paid for music hell yeah. even soldier boy i know he's still getting checks from like kiss me through the phone and all these yeah. old songs that in overseas they still Slapping them shits, you know what I mean? I know rap don't last forever, and I know I can't do it forever, so I'm going to use this as a platform to do bigger things for sure. And if I can go all the way with music, because, like, Drake, he will never fall off. Drake right. will never fall off. <clears throat> right. If I can be like Drake, I'm going to be like Drake. <laughs> but not too many people. That's, like, unrealistic, low-key. Well, well, look, look, okay, like, okay, that's cool, right? Yeah. But you got to also think like this, like, okay, you want to be like Drake, but you got to know what Drake does to beat Drake. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, that's that's the, the recipe right there. You, you mostly rap, right? Like Yeah. Like, do you have, like, some singing shit, too, or? I can't say singing. I have, like. Melodic, melodic shit. Melodic. Yeah. Two melodic songs, but they're never going to. One might be dropped, maybe. It was, like, my second ever song. But I, for sure, I see the potential. I just need to sit down and structure it, maybe write to it, because. I already, like, I know I could do it. It's just I haven't had the time pretty much to do it because I've just been on my lit stuff, so. But if I sat down and started singing, I could do it for sure. Yeah, singing, yeah, yeah. Singing Fakro. You know what's crazy? Um, uh, I was supposed to go on this tour. Something cr happened with this promoter, whatever. BS. But AZ Chike is on the tour. And I see, had seen AZ Chike when I first first started rapping in downtown LA. Ever mm -hmm. since then I've seen him over and over and over again. But when I first seen him I was like, You're gonna like you're gonna remember my name, baby Flacco. I told him I was like, You're gonna remember me, you're gonna hear about me one day and it almost came but sadly something happened and 
the promoter, you know who you are, and you know what, you know what, you know what the deal is. What's the deal? It's Baby Flacco. We just got done shooting. K shot him interview. Baby Flacco, you feel me? I'm the face of LA. You already know that. Face of the shit dropping album with Nico the Mac. You feel me? LA tour coming soon. You already know. Yeah.